Hey everybody, welcome to ROA Off-Road. We're bringing you a really fun video. We're gonna be talking about articulating hitches. So we actually have six different articulating hitches we're gonna be showing you. And we're gonna talk maybe about some of the pros and the cons, you know, show you how they hook up. We want people to be able to see some differences in the hitches that are out there. I get calls all the time like, how is the lock and roll? How does it hook up? You know, is it good? You know, what about the Max Coupler or the McHitch or, you know, or the DO35? So we're gonna talk about all of them. We're gonna show you all of them, how they work, how they set up, and we'll just jump right in. Okay, I am in front of the Max Coupler here. So a couple of things I want to point out. This obviously is going to be your portion for the tow vehicle. This here goes on the trailer. The way the mechanism works is that uh, this will turn you know, left to right and once it goes in, it can articulate up and down because of its circular design. It's just going to be able to turn while being locked in there. A couple of things that I like about the Max Coupler uh, typically, these are designed for lighter trailers, so uh, one benefit is going to be cost. It's going to be a, a cheaper hitch to acquire if you have a smaller trailer. Now, this particular trailer that I'm in front of right now is like loaded. It has a lot of stuff on it, and so it's going to be hard for me to just pick this up and drop it in there. But the trailers that have had the Max Coupler on them, um, that has been something I've been able to do with those trailers. Uh, this trailer, this is the Vorshear right here. And they, on the front, they have installed these bars. And that's what they're designed for, is to be able to lift it up and just drop it here into this coupler right here. So if your trailer's light enough, that's what's really nice about the Max Coupler. You can just lift it up, and drop it right into this portion right here. We're gonna go ahead and go get this hooked up here so you can see what that looks like. But that is one benefit of the Max Coupler. It's just really, it is really easy. There's no question. And then we'll show you what it looks like once it's all set up. So we'll go ahead and get hitched up right now. All right. Okay, go ahead and just drop it down. Yeah, look. Now looks like it's just right, actually. Okay. Boom. There it is. I got this pin through. So this will now articulate left to right and then up and down. Left to right, up and down with this max coupler. So as you can see, set up, hooking up, really not that difficult. It's a cheap, easily accessible hitch. And in talking to owners, if you look right here, these uh, red rings right here, really that is kind of your maintenance is these eventually get worn out and you just have to replace these, but it's really not that bad. So that is the Max Coupler. Okay, we are now gonna go over the McHitch. Now this hitch does originate out of Australia and we do have them in stock in the USA but this hitch has been here for a while now this was something that we originally started uh, putting on the black series trailer and we'll actually show you guys the poly block which is uh, another articulating hitch we'll show you that but the McHitch here is definitely one of our favorites and I'm just going to show you the hitch itself and how we hook up now again this is going to be a rudimentary introduction into hitches. There are, I imagine, much more detailed reviews on all of the different components. You know, what's inside here, exactly how this is built. You know, I will say that there are different size MIC hitches based on the size of the tow vehicle. So you can get, you know, 3.5, 4.5 ton. You know, you get a hitch based on the size of the, the trailer. One thing that we love about this is the simplicity. So I'm about here in a second to back up and, and go and get hooked up to the McHitch. What's nice is technically you can do this by yourself. You don't actually need someone else to hook up. And a lot of times that's not the case. You need multiple people to, to help you get hooked up. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna back in and you can see it you know, latch on. 
Now, one thing that I like to do when hooking up to the mic hitch, and it helps so that you can do it by yourself, is uh, always make sure that the e-brake is on here. You know, this is your this is your trailer brake. Uh, this is on the on a dweller right here, but a lot of our off-road trailers do have one of these. The other thing that I like to do is I like to actually take, you know, if you have a wheel chalk, that's great. I like to take and put something behind the tires so that when I go into the McHitch, the trailer itself doesn't get pushed back. And so I like to put one of these, you know, behind the tire, just like that. So that when we're backing up, uh, the trailer will push back instead of just, you know, going back. All right, I'll go ahead and back up. Good. We're in? Yep. Okay, so that's pretty sweet. One way you know that you're in is when this lever here drops all the way down. Then once you're hooked in, we're just gonna put this pin through right here. Put that on there. Then we would we take off the e-brake, we'd take off the wheel chalk, we can let down our, our jack and we're all set. That's the make hitch setup for you. If, uh, if I was to say, you know, what people like most about the McHitch, uh, very durable. We haven't had any of them, you know, really bend or break and they're easy to hook up to. You know, unlimited articulation, excellent build quality. It's really affordable. It's not, it's, it's probably more expensive than like a lock and roll and a max coupler, but it's still affordable. So it's really just a great overall hitch. We are now gonna go over the DO35 slash 45 from Cruise Master. Now, the first thing I wanna point out, so here is the assembly. Now, when you buy the DO35 from Cruise Master, it comes with this guy right here, and then it comes with this assembly right here, okay? Now, what that means is you're gonna have your hitch. You can take the hitch that you already use that has the ball in it. You're gonna remove the ball, and then you're gonna put this guy inside, okay? And then once we have this installed, now, and we have this obviously bolted to our frame, now we can get hooked up to our DO35, okay? What we're gonna do is we're just gonna get this lined up with the tow vehicle, and because our trailer is light enough, I can actually move the trailer over to the tow vehicle because we have flat, smooth surface. Now, when we're off-road, off-grid, that's usually gonna be done by leaving the trailer put and backing the, the tow vehicle up to it. So our e-brake is down. Obviously, if, if we're backing up the tow vehicle, we want this to be up, but because we wanna move the trailer, we'll have this down. And let's see if we can get this sucker in place. Nope, we did it. Okay, so now we're gonna lower this. There we go, we should be good. Yep. So that's something real quick on the DO35. Once this is locked, this is the locked position, this is the open position. I'm not gonna be able to connect to the DO35 if this is out. It has to be in, okay? So once that's in, we're gonna drop, done. We are now locked in, okay? Now we're gonna take all the pressure off. This comes up here. Our DO35 is ready to go. I mean, obviously it's got a excellent construction quality, uh, but it is easy to hook up to. Obviously, so it's gonna have unlimited you know, articulation. We do have lots of DO35s available in the United States, so it's gonna be easy to get parts as well. This is, in the world of articulating hitches, um, absolutely is considered one of the best and is, is more widely used. That's the DO35 from Cruise Master. All right, so now we have the poly block. I'm gonna do a quick demonstration to show you what the poly block is, how it works, and why it is that we don't really use it, but I'm gonna show you anyway. So here is the poly block, and basically this is gonna be on the trailer side, and then we're gonna have the tow vehicle side. So I'm gonna take this over to an area where we have the 
the tow vehicle side just in a mount that I can show you how this hooks up and I'll show you why it's so difficult. So we'll go over there real quick. Okay, so here is the trailer portion and this is the tow vehicle portion right here for a poly block. So one of the reasons, well, first of all, how it works, in order for this, the tow vehicle side to go into the trailer, this guy right here, this is the poly block portion, it gets loose and in order for it to go inside, it's like you need someone to hold it up because it has to fit right in here. So what's gonna have to happen is while you're backing up with the tow vehicle to the trailer, someone's gonna have to hold this up while you hook in. And it has to be, you can see here, if you look right here, this is the margin for error. Like this small little gap right here, like it has to fit in perfectly in order to get it in. And then once it's in, we put a pin through the, the top here, and then now we can articulate up and down, left and right, that's the poly block hitch. But I'm gonna show you what we do with the poly block hitch here at ROA, okay? We're gonna take you to the poly block graveyard, okay? So follow me. Okay, so um, anyone that has a poly block, typically the result is the same. We end up removing it and taking it to its proper place. Here to the poly block graveyard. This is where they come to die. All right, so our next hitch that we're gonna be showing is going to be the lock and roll, okay? So here we go, this is the tow vehicle side, and here we have the trailer side. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna back it up so you can see what that hooking up process looks like, and we can show you how it's going to articulate, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and back it up and we can show you what that looks like hooking up. See that? Okay, that's it. So we are now hooked up to our lock and roll. So because of the design here, um, this is gonna be able to articulate you know, up and down. And then the left and right articulation is gonna come from this right here. That's gonna allow the trailer to go all the way to the left, all the way to the right, and then the up and down articulation is gonna be happening right here. Now, the next thing we would do is I would put a pin through here and I'm all done. So, this is the lock and roll. Um, we have used this on a number of different trailers. We like the hitch. It's really not too difficult to hook up. It's done well. I do believe that the uh, Cruise Master and the Mick Hitch are a little bit more durable. Um, but they also cost more. But this is still a reputable good hitch that we do like. We've been using it for a while. Just wanted to show you the functionality of the hitch and what it looks like hooking up. Okay, I have here the Hitch Easy articulating hitch out of Australia. Uh, really fun. They reached out. They wanted us to demo their unit and you know see what we think. It's a very, very cool, very, very robust unit. And because of the complexities, we actually got a, a video that's already been filmed that, that we're gonna share with you guys to show you the details of how it works, how you hook up to it, a little bit more about the safety features that it has. This is a very, very robust, very, very high quality hitch and we're gonna share with you again a video kind of demoing how the unit works but once again this is another articulating hitch that is available on the market and is coming to the usa that we wanted to show you guys here at roa and uh, enjoy this little video there's two ways of linking up hitch easy uh, both are equally easy uh, one you can reverse into it where the mouth of the coupling faces the incoming tow pillar head and as you reverse in, you can see the coupling rotate. And when it gets to vertical or near vertical, you know you've backed back far enough. Simply get out and drop the coupling down, it'll be fully engaged. 
the other option and, and probably the better option if you're coming in at a very unusual angle and this coupling will connect from any angle is to just put the coupling above the height of the toe pillar, reverse the toe pillar until it's sitting below uh, the vertical uh, main sleeve of the coupling and then drop it down. Now the default position of the coupling is constantly uh, in an open position where you don't have to do anything to allow it to engage and when it drops down it recognises the toe pillar and it auto locks itself with a double locking mechanism which is the Australian design rule requirement. And the most important feature of our auto locking which is different to other auto locking couplings is that if someone comes along and plays with your coupling while you're having a cup of tea somewhere or other, uh, it will shut itself again, again and again. The coupling's particularly easy to use. It doesn't require great manual forces, uh, but we recognise we do have some older users with problems like rheumatoid arthritis, and we've therefore built into the coupling a lever that allows you to open the coupling uh, even if you've got problems with your hand. Uh, the other feature we've built into it, if you've got a particularly stiff jockey wheel that's hard to turn and you feel you want to use both hands on it, uh, then we've got a way of um, taking the coupling to the release position and putting in a little tool that's provided that temporarily deactivates the locking mechanism while you use the jockey wheel. Okay, thank you everybody for joining us. Uh, we hope that we were able to show you some cool articulating hitches. If there's some other articulating hitches that we should know about, make sure you let us know in the comments about some cool hitches that maybe we should look at testing out and trying on some of our rigs. These are the ones we're most familiar with, but again, you know, there's lots of articulating hitches and we just have a lot of people that are new to the off-road industry. We wanted to show what's out there, what it looks like, how it hooks up. So we hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and we look forward to seeing you on the trails.